We are learning more about what happened in the hours before Gary Coleman slipped into a coma, and an attorney for the actor reveals new information about his client's marital status at the time of his death. Randy Kester tells the AP, Coleman had been divorced from Shannon Price for nearly two years, as far as he knew. They were never remarried. In a 911 recording released Wednesday, Price tells a Utah emergency operator that her husband may have fallen or had a seizure. Send someone quick because I don't even know if he's like going to be alive because there's a lot of blood on the floor. She goes on to describe Coleman as conscious but bubbling at the mouth. Throughout the six-minute call, Price says she's unable to help him because she has health issues of her own. I have seizures. If I get stressed out, I'm going to seize. I've just been kind of sick and, you know, I... Just... I, I don't want to be traumatized right now. The operator eventually convinces Price to grab a towel so Coleman can't apply pressure to a gash on the back of his head. Keep pressure on this, okay? Hold this. He's bloody like all freaking over. Don't move. Okay. I don't even know why you're standing. Here. Tell him he needs to sit down. You need to sit down. Sit down. Gary, sit down. Look at the floor. Sit down. According to a police report, Coleman walked to a gurney when police officers arrived. The former child star suffered a brain hemorrhage and died two days later after he was taken off life support. It's unclear if Price was the one who made medical decisions for the 42-year-old actor. Hospital officials say they can't release any information about the Coleman case. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.